What's up everybody, it's RJ with Twin Halos and today we're talking about why you need a strong back and I'm gonna give you three different exercises to help strengthen your back for motocross. So the reason why you need a strong back if you need to pull yourself onto the bike or you need to pull the bike up to get over whatever obstacle it may be, your back is gonna be the thing that's gonna be working. Or if you're standing up, your legs and your hips are going to be working as well. So the main thing that's gonna be happening is your back and all the muscles in the back of the body are going to be working, which is called the posterior chain. So I'm gonna give you three different exercises that's going to help strengthen all of this so you can have a strong back when riding motocross. So the first exercise is going to be the deadlift. The deadlift is a good exercise for your legs and your hips, as well as the low back, but we're also talking about the mid back. When you go to lift the weight up off of the floor, our mid back is working to help stabilize our shoulders so we can pick up the weight and stand up with it. So a lot of people overlook the deadlift as being a back exercise. It's not just a back exercise, but it strengthens everything in the back of the body. It strengthens that, it strengthens that posterior chain. So that's why the deadlift is a really good exercise and it also helps with grip strength. So the deadlift is a good exercise, but we need to supplement a few more exercises for the back so we can focus more on the mid back and not just the entire body. So exercise number two is going to be a single arm row. This is going to help isolate that muscle specifically. So if you're weak in this area, this is a really good exercise that's gonna to start to target the mid back and really strengthen that area. So implement this exercise after your deadlifts. So the third exercise is somewhat motocross specific because of the positioning that we get into. And the exercise is called a rear lateral raise. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get into that attack position and then from here, you're going to pull the weight completely apart and then bring it back down. This is going to help not only target the mid back but also put ourselves in this isometric hold which means that our, bot, our lower body stays in that one position as our hands go in and out just like this. So the reason why this is a really good exercise is because when you're in that attack position, this exercise is mimicking exactly that. These are just a few ways to strengthen your back specifically for motocross. So with these exercises, depending on your rep range and the amount of weight that you're using, that's gonna determine what your goal is as you work out. So if you're using these to build strength, you want to use lower reps, higher rest times. If you want to build more conditioning and endurance and hypertrophy, you want more higher reps and shorter rest times. So depending on what your goal is, that's how you're going to accomplish this. So if you want a program with more detail about how to accomplish not only these exercises, but your rep ranges and ways to do these exercises, I'll coach you through every step of the way in Iron Foundation. That way you know how to do every exercise, your rep range, and how to incorporate this throughout the week. Hope you found this video informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. So that's it for me. I'm RJ with Twin Halos and I'll see you guys in the next video.